We encourage you to continually direct your hearts toward the Lord. It was at Kirath Chiram that Israel's last judge called the nation to direct your heart to the Lord and serve Him only. Samuel was not known for mincing his words. He spoke to the centermost issue, calling the entire nation to return to the Lord with all your heart. God's people, from the leaders to the laborers, had been deliberately chasing after foreign gods, and it had to stop. If Israel's return to the Lord was to be genuine, it meant they would put away the foreign gods and the Astaroth from among them. This was no small request. The Lord required a deliberate change in the nation's heart affections. For decades they had been chasing after religion, which pleased their fleshly desires, where everyone did what was right in his own eyes. Combining worship in Yahweh with the sexually perverted and barbaric rituals of Baal and Ashtaroth could not continue. The cost of idolatry was high, with thousands of Israelites having just lost their lives under divine judgment. Israel was feeling the pain of her unfaithfulness. But it did not need to be this way. Israel could have responded favorably to the Lord's gracious patience at any point. But no, they wanted what they wanted. And since judgment was slow in coming, they assumed there was no consequences for their sin. Wrong conclusion. The solution was straightforward and required a radical change in the nation's thinking, beginning with the leadership which was now Samuel. Undivided loyalty in their belief, thought and behavior belonged to the one true God alone. There could be no compromise, no negotiation and no shared loyalties. No longer would mixed affections and amalgamated beliefs with other gods be tolerated by the Lord. So the people of Israel put away the Baals and the Ashtaroth, and they served the Lord only. Today, we face the same challenge. Those who call themselves Christians are to worship the Lord your God, and Him only shall you serve. Joshua's challenge to fear the Lord and serve Him in sincerity and in faithfulness is as valid today as it ever was. Believers in Jesus Christ are those with conviction and courage who unashamedly declare, as Joshua did, as for me and my house, we serve the Lord. Surrendered belief, behavior, and speech remain the only true expression of a heart that directs itself to the Lord. Make no mistake, this is the work of the Holy Spirit within you. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God, and to the steadfastness of Christ, because He alone is your source of spiritual life and vitality. With the Lord Jesus steering your life, you are to let the Word of Christ dwell in you richly, because the Bible fuels your ability to be filled with the Spirit. With many distractions of life before you today, we encourage you to continually direct your hearts toward the Lord. Make it your aim to please Him, to be filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God.